Hello students this is Dr Amarpreet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department in today's lecture i am going to discuss about biomes the concept of biomes it was originally given by Clements and Shelford a biome is a ecological community of plants and animals that are living together but what is important over here is they are living in a particular climate okay again i am repeating a biome is the ecological community of plants and animals living together in a particular climate and it is between landscape and biosphere there are different types of biomes okay some of them which are very famous are rainforest deserts tropical grasslands that have another name savannas temperate grassland temperate deciduous forests mediterranean scrub coniferous forests chaparral and tundra i will discuss some of them and will make you understand firstly tundra tundra is a polar desert okay which is present at the poles of earth and it is having very low temperature and low precipitation precipitation means the water rainfall or maybe the snow or whatever will be the form of water so low precipitation and there are two types of tundra one is arctic tundra and another is alpine tundra alpine one is present at the top of mountains while as arctic tundra they are present at the poles of earth okay and the plants which are prominent over there are lichens and some grasses okay trees are absolutely absent second one is desert biomes deserts they are found between the latitude 15 degree to 35 degree from north to south of the equator and it is having the precipitation approximately 30 cm most of the deserts they are hot and generally they have hot days and cold nights the plants which are main of uh, flora of deserts are ephemerals ephemerals means those plant which are having short life cycle okay another category is succulent and non succulent succulent means which have water inside their body for example cactus and opuntia the other biome that i am going to discuss is tropical grassland or savanna biome tropical region is that region that is very near to equator and the temperature of this region is 65 degree fahrenheit or more savanna grassland is having scattered individual trees climatic conditions they are very important for creating savannas when climatic conditions are responsible for creating savannas such savannas are known as climatic savannas when soil is responsible for creating savannas such savanna are known as adaptic savannas annual rainfall it ranges from 30 to 50 cm okay per year and the soil it is having a thin layer of nutrient rich matter which is known as humus one thing that is closely associated with savannas is frequent fires and this region is having such kind of a uh, vegetation which is adapted to fires others is temperate grassland 
temperate grassland they are characterized as having grasses as dominant vegetations trees and large shrubs they are absolutely absent rainfall it is less than savannas but temperate grasslands they have hot summers and cold winters this type of grassland is having higher diversity of grasses and usually the grasses are very tall the next uh, biome is tropical rainforest next tropical rainforest uh, biomes they are uh, located uh, near to the equator and they are characterized by having high temperature high rainfall and greatest diversity of species winter is absent and annual rainfall usually it is 200 cm soil is poor in nutrients and it is acidic the main plants which are present in tropical rainforest they are trees epiphytes and lichens epiphytes are those plants which grow on other plants okay the next biome it is taiga biome the other biome is taiga biome taiga biome is of two types or they can be of plants these are needle leaved and evergreen this is also known as coniferous forest biome or boreal forest biomes they are close to polar regions and uh, they are between 50 to 60 degree north latitude okay winter in this region is very long and very cold while as summer it is short and cool precipitation it is mainly in the form of snow and near about 40 to 100 cm annually okay and already i have told that the plantation in this region is needle shaped and they are evergreen example is like pine uh, are fir these are the examples of the flora which is present in this region the other biome it is temperate deciduous forest biome this biome it consists those trees which lose their leaves every year that is why they are known as deciduous okay and this region it is characterized with moderate kind of temperature it is having the four seasons winter spring summer and autumn and uh, precipitation that is between 65 to 130 cm okay soil is usually fertile and uh, and rest with litter litter is means uh, decaying um uh, either leaves or grasses they make litter the other biome is chaparral okay it consists the evergreen hard leaved shrub vegetation chaparral biome is very dense and it is having the spiny evergreen shrubs okay usually it is found at the coasts where there is cold ocean current okay means um, it is present at the beaches okay annual precipitation generally it ranges from 30 to 50 cm this region it is characterized by rainy winters and long and hot dry summers thank you for listening to this lecture in case you have any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com